We've made some huge updates to Prompt Perfect GPT from things we've learned with our plugin over the past six months. Uh, if you go to the landing page for our GPT and it's your first time, the first thing you want to do is just put in any prompt because it will ask you to sign in. So go through the sign in flow here by clicking this button and it'll either ask you for your email or if it already has your email, it'll ask you to authorize and it will send you back to the plugin. There's a known bug by OpenAI that this button doesn't disappear when you come back, and it should. You are logged in, so if you just hit regenerate, you will see that the action is called, and you'll get three options, allow, always allow, or decline. If you click always allow, you won't be prompted to press that every single time. One of the major updates we've made is that you don't have to use the word perfect in front of your prompt. You can just do any prompt, and you can see the refined version spit out here, along with the answer below. Another update we made are these recommended prompts at the bottom. So you can see it asks you to choose a number if you want to continue the chat like this. So if we just press one and enter, it will send this prompt, how are tax rates determined to our API and will be refined and answered right. So for each prompt that is sent to our API, you will get these recommended prompts at the end if you want to continue your chat that way. Another awesome thing that we now have access to is browsing with Bing. Dolly and advanced data analysis. So if you were to use those, there's a little bit different of a way you would do it. So let's say look up news for today on the web and you'll want to tell it in which order to use. So you would say use prompt perfect and browsing. Great, so you can see here that it talked to prompt perfect, then it used Bing and it came back with this list. It also shows you what the prompt was that they, that we changed it to. We also now have access to use Dolly. So if you were to generate an image of chat GPT as a cat, we want to tell it to use prompt perfect, then Dolly. Great, so you can see here that generated this image, some really fun things you can do with that. Another awesome new feature is that you can use advanced data analysis along with Prompt Perfect. So you can attach a file. I made a fake CSV with some fake business numbers. And let's just say analyze these business numbers. It's a very basic prompt. Tell it to use Prompt Perfect and advanced data analysis. Also, advanced data analysis was formerly known as Code Interpreter. People tend to talk about both the same way. Great, so you can see with advanced data analysis, a lot happens here. It actually used it to look at the document and then write this prompt, which went from analyze these business numbers to please conduct a thorough analysis of, C of a CSV file that contains business data for various months, along with all this extra info. And then answered it below, we could see it ran into a few errors and then it fixed it and saw the data and then ran statistics, trends, and gives us a way to further the conversation. But we're really excited about the new Prompt Perfect GPT. So if you have questions, you can always comment below. You can reach out to us at heyo, H-E-Y-O, at promptperfect.xyz, and uh, we'll be making more tutorials in the near future.